Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we'll be discussing the importance of selenium in supporting overall health and preventing disease. This trace mineral is known for its role in immune function, hormone regulation, and defending cells against oxidative stress. I'm joined by my co-host, Elara Skye, who will help break down these concepts in a way that's clear and direct for our listeners. Thank you, Ethan. It's good to be here. Selenium is fascinating because, although it's only required in small amounts, it has a significant impact on many processes in the body. Research shows that if people become deficient in selenium, they have a harder time fighting off infections, regulating key hormones, and dealing with oxidative stress linked to chronic diseases. Let's start with a bit of history. Selenium was first discovered in 1817 by the Swedish chemist Jons Jakob Berzelius, and it was named after Selene, the Greek goddess of the moon. Despite its mythic inspiration, it's a practical nutrient found in soil and plants, and of course, in living organisms like us. Can you talk about why selenium is called a trace mineral and what that implies? Absolutely. When we say trace mineral, we mean that the body only needs a very small amount for proper function. However, even in tiny amounts, selenium is critical. It's part of at least 25 known selenoproteins, which serve major roles in protecting our cells from damage. One prime example is the antioxidant enzyme glutathione peroxidase. Without adequate selenium, the activity of this enzyme declines, leaving cells vulnerable to free radicals that speed up aging and contribute to disease. That's an important point. Oxidative stress is a recurring theme in discussions about chronic illnesses, from cardiovascular disease to cancer. Selenium, by way of selenoproteins, addresses oxidative stress. It also supports different systems throughout the body. Ilara, Let's highlight the role of selenium in immune function and why it's so important to keep our immune defenses in good shape. The immune system relies on various types of white blood cells to find and neutralize threats. Selenium helps ensure these immune cells can do their job efficiently. Studies show that individuals with low selenium levels may experience weaker immune responses and slower healing. Supplementing selenium when levels are low can strengthen how the body responds to infections, which is crucial for staying healthy. Another crucial aspect is selenium's link to heart health. Researchers have noted a strong connection between selenium deficiency and a condition known as Kishan disease, which was discovered in certain selenium deficient areas. Can you explain how selenium supplementation helped in those regions? Kishan disease is a severe type of cardiomyopathy, or heart muscle disease, originally identified in parts of China where the soil had very little selenium. Many people living in those areas weren't getting enough selenium from their diets. The introduction of selenium supplements dramatically reduced the incidence of Cation disease. This demonstrates how essential selenium is for cardiovascular function and supports the idea that even a small amount makes a large difference in preventing heart-related problems. Exactly, and that's a compelling piece of public health evidence. Now, let's talk about the thyroid. We know that the thyroid hormone T4 must be converted into the active T3 form to be used effectively in the body. Elara, can you tell us more about how selenium helps with this conversion? The thyroid hormone activation process hinges on certain selenium-dependent enzymes. These enzymes are responsible for converting T4, which is relatively inactive, into T3, the form that helps regulate metabolism, energy levels, and various body functions. If there isn't enough selenium, the conversion process weakens. People might experience symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, or a slowdown in metabolic activity. Research also points out that those with thyroid disorders, such as Hashimoto's, often show lower selenium levels. Yes, which can intensify inflammation and further disrupt thyroid function. Let's shift focus to one of the most significant aspects of selenium, its anti-cancer properties. There was a time when some believed selenium might be carcinogenic. However, more recent studies show the opposite. How has the perception of selenium's role in cancer changed over time? Decades ago, research started to challenge the older idea that selenium was a carcinogen, revealing that it might instead act as a protective agent. Modern studies have strengthened this view, 
showing selenium can help normalize tumor blood vessel structure and optimize the window for administering anti-cancer therapies. Certain compounds, like methylseleninic acid, MSA, and seleno-L-methionine, SLM, have demonstrated promising effects in reducing proteins that fuel tumor growth and help cancer cells resist drugs. One researcher in particular, Aliasker Salem at the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy, studied how these selenium compounds could slow kidney tumor growth while minimizing toxic effects. Selenium appears to work synergistically with treatments like chemotherapy, aiming to shrink tumors effectively without causing severe damage to healthy tissues. This possibility of targeted therapy is quite exciting for the medical field. Yes, and from a practical standpoint, while these findings are hopeful, it's important that people get enough selenium through diet first. We know that food-based intake is often the safest and most effective route. Selenium-rich foods include eggs, grass-fed beef or lamb, sardines, and dairy products made from raw, grass-fed milk. When the soil is selenium poor, however, these foods can contain lower levels, and supplementation might be a good idea. Before we get into supplementation guidelines, could you summarize the broader benefits of maintaining adequate selenium levels for our listeners? Certainly. Adequate selenium supports antioxidant production, particularly glutathione peroxidase. It helps defend cells against oxidative damage, which contributes to aging and a range of diseases. Selenium also bolsters immune defense, helps protect the heart, assists in preventing neurodegenerative issues by supporting proper nerve function, and enables proper thyroid hormone activation. In oncology research, selenium is emerging as a supportive agent in enhancing standard cancer treatments. Although we only need trace amounts, neglecting selenium can have significant negative health consequences. That's a thorough overview. Now, for those who suspect they aren't getting enough selenium through diet alone, there are a few important points to remember when considering supplementation. What are the general guidelines? The recommended daily allowance, RDA, for adults is about 55 micrograms of selenium. Infants need less, and that requirement changes slightly with age or certain health conditions. Most individuals don't require large doses. In fact, too much selenium can be harmful. Selenium toxicity, or selenosis, may appear in symptoms like brittle hair, nails, digestive disruptions, and fatigue. In very severe cases, it leads to organ failure. So, moderation is key. People should keep their total daily intake at appropriate levels and avoid going beyond what their bodies need. Are there any specific forms of selenium that you recommend looking out for? Selenomethionine is a popular form because it has good bioavailability meaning your body can make use of it efficiently. Other forms include selenium-enriched yeast, selenite, or selenite. Each form has its own characteristics, but high-quality products typically provide selenomethionine or selenium yeast. Always look for reputable brands to avoid fillers or questionable synthetic additives that might reduce the supplement's benefits. Good advice. Now, there are also certain habits that can undermine selenium intake. Processed foods with artificial sweeteners, high fructose corn syrup, or inflammatory vegetable oils can reduce the body's ability to utilize nutrients. Would you expand on that? Sure. These foods interfere with gut health and cause oxidative stress, which cancels out the protective benefits of selenium. Vegetable oils like soybean or corn oil are especially troublesome because they're high in linoleic acid, which triggers inflammation. Refined sugars and artificial sweeteners also damage the gut, which is where a lot of nutrient absorption happens. If your gut integrity is compromised, it makes it harder to absorb vital minerals, including selenium. It's a good reminder that overall dietary choices matter. Thyroid health is another area where selenium must be paired with other supportive nutrients. Could you share some final thoughts on that? Magnesium, iodine, and vitamin D all factor into healthy thyroid function, alongside selenium. Magnesium is needed for enzyme function and overall metabolic balance. Iodine should be consumed in moderation, generally no more than 200 micrograms a day for most healthy individuals, because excessive iodine can worsen thyroid issues. Vitamin D helps regulate immune activity and keeps inflammation down, which is critical for the thyroid gland to work properly. Let's give a concise recap. Selenium is crucial for immune strength, 
thyroid function, heart health, and may help lower cancer risk. The best strategy is to get selenium from a balanced diet that includes foods like eggs, grass-fed meats, and quality dairy. If supplementation is necessary, stay within recommended limits to avoid toxicity. Ilara, any closing thoughts before we wrap today's episode? Just to emphasize that selenium, while needed in small quantities, can make a considerable difference in health outcomes. Paying attention to dietary sources and considering supplementation when food sources fall short is a practical way to support cellular function. It's a foundational element of good health. Thank you, Alara, and thank you to all our listeners for joining us on this episode of Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and we appreciate you spending time with us to learn about selenium's vital role in the body. Remember to prioritize real, nutrient-dense foods and approach supplementation judiciously. We look forward to continuing these informative discussions in our upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.